This is some artwork I downloaded from Free Picks. And this is just to show you how simple shapes are set up to make a quick walk cycle. I'm going to be using the side view. Just a reminder, I put my work in our class folder, in the files folder, in Canvas Art 228 Virtual. Even though we're in person, I gotta rename this folder. Then the cartoon character Free Picks. This is the cleaned up character, the walk cycle. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna grab the side view. I'm going to Control C to copy it, close the window, Click HDTV, Control V to paste, and I'm going to grab the corner to scale up. I'm holding down Alt to scale from all four sides at once, and I'm holding Shift to contain my aspect ratio. I'm keeping most of my action in the action safe area, just be on the safe side. Now, when I select it once, you see the whole character is one giant grouped shape. So I'm right clicking and choosing ungroup. I'm going to use the arm for this demonstration. You see the arm is grouped to the torso, so I'm gonna right click and ungroup one more time. Now I've got just my arm. So I can click the plus button. My arm is still selected. There's my color icon. I can drag that up. Now my arm is on its own layer. So that's how you can start bringing your shapes onto their own layers. I'm gonna to need to have this as an upper arm that goes down to this round join, and then from this round join, to the wrist, and then finally the hand. So that's gonna be three separate layers, so I've got total flexibility over this character. So I'm gonna right click, ungroup it again, and it's perfect. I've got my shoulder to the round join. Make a new layer, drag it up there, and I'm gonna name it by double clicking. I'm gonna say front, arm, shoulder. So I know it's the arm that's in the foreground. Now, on the layer below, this is still grouped together, so I'm going to right click, ungroup. So now I've got this the way I want. And I'm going to make a new layer, drag it up there, front arm, forearm. My forearm goes above the shoulder. You'll see that when you're animating. And this last layer down here is the hand. So I can just rename that layer. And the hand will be on the top. So I'm doing that for each limb. I would do it for the arms and the legs. The legs would be from the thigh down to the knee, then from the knee down to the leg. I'll do one leg just to show you. I'm gonna right click, ungroup. Now remember, if I drew this myself, I wouldn't have to go through all this. This is only because I downloaded it thinking it'd save me some time. I don't need to see this leg. So that's the back leg. I'm gonna put it on a new layer, and hide it by clicking the icon. Now I can focus on what I want more easily. I'm gonna keep the hips separate. So I'm gonna right click and ungroup that. I'm gonna put that on its own layer while I'm doing this just for simplicity's sake. Now I can hide that. Okay, just like my arm, I wanna ungroup this into the upper leg, the lower leg, and the foot. So I'm gonna right click and ungroup it. Remember, if I were drawing this from scratch, I'd work it properly the first time. I'm gonna make my new layer. I'm gonna call this front, leg, thigh, so I know what it is. Move it there, I can hide it. I'm going to ungroup these. So now it's, I'm gonna put the sock with it too. By holding down shift, I'm gonna to have to ungroup that one more time. Deselect it from the foot, there we go. Now I've got the calf plus the sock because those are gonna to move together. The sock wouldn't move with the foot. We'll make a new layer. Front leg calf, drag my color icon up to it. Now that's there. And I can just select this, make a new layer and call it front shoe. Or front foot. Add those back on. I'm going to put my calf above my thigh and my foot above my calf. So I would do the same thing for the back leg and the back arm. For the head, let me split out this torso real quick. 
and I grab my color icon, move it up there. Now that's on its own layer. The neck, I'm going to right click to ungroup this and zoom in by pressing control or command and the plus symbol. This will all be one layer, the neck and the shirt. That's fine. Go drag it up there. Call it neck. Hide it. Now for my face, I'm going to want the hair on its own layer, the ear and the skin on one layer, the eyebrow, the eyeball, and the mouth on their own layers. So I click once and I've got to ungroup this. Remember if I create it from scratch, I won't have to be doing all this extra work. I've got that. I can call it face. I know I misspelled it. That's fine. If I want, I could do top hair and back hair. Let's do that. Here, top, top hair on its own layer, hide it, then the back hair on its own layer. The eyebrow I'm going to want on its own layer so I can animate it. Same with the eye. So I'm just going to right click and ungroup that. So call this eyebrow. Drag the selection icon to move it up there. Same with the eyeball. Drag the little blue marker. So now it's up there. And lastly, make a layer for the mouth. So you're seeing how I'm splitting out the character to get the most amount of flexibility while working with it. Now I just fix my layer order here. I want the face below all that. And then I'm going to put my hair back below the face and my hair top above the face. Okay, so the neck is too high up. And that fixes all of it. So that's just an example. Breaking into layers gives you all that flexibility. And remember, save as, save frequently. You know, I would have done more work than then. Uh, save it as AI. And the default settings are fine. And we're good. So now I'm going to bring this into After Effects. So if I go File, Import File, I change Import as Footage to composition, retain layer sizes, click import. Here's my sequence, double click to open it in my timeline. And remember when you're working with Illustrator files, you've got to continuously rasterize them. That's under your switches. Remember you click here to go between your switches and modes. There's my modes and track mats. Click switches again, and I'm in my switches. I'm gonna put a color layer behind here by going layer new, solid. What's on top is the topmost, so I'm going to move it to the back, and we can see our whole character right there. Now, I'm going to parent this, and then we'll do the walk cycle for another lesson coming up soon. The hair, I'm going to parent to the head. You got two options. You can use this drop down menu, or you can click and drag the pick whip. I recommend using the pick whip because you're going to need it once we start tackling expressions. The hair is parented to the head. The back of the hair is going to be parented to the head. The shoulder will be parented to the torso. So the way this works, it'd be like the hand is parented to the forearm. Let's start lower. So if I find my hand, my forearm right here, I'm going to drag to the shoulder. The hips are going to be parented to the torso. The neck is going to be parented to the torso. Thigh will be parented to the hips. Calf will be parented to the thigh. Shoe is parented to the calf. My back thigh is going to be parented to the torso. My back calf is going to be parented to the back thigh. And my back shoe is parented to the back calf. And I should have broken down the hand. That's fine, you know. Next, we're going to do a walk cycle. We'll do a quick, simple one, and then I'll show you how to take it from there and apply more of the 12 principles of animation to it. Always remember to save frequently. And uh, another thing, here's a little tip as you're working. Edit, 
purge all memory and disk cache. I've already got 10 gigs just eating up space on my computer. So you're going to need to do that every now and again to free up space on your computer. So that's it for this quick intro. We're going to be doing the walk cycle coming up soon.